Hey, all you zealots and zerglings, it's time for another three versus three. If you saw the last three versus three I cast, it was an all Terran versus all Zerg. Well, <laughs> after everyone, I think, got sick of being Zerg, well, everyone except maybe me, we decided to do an all Terran throwdown. So, I have spawned as the purple Terran. No big surprise there. And my allies this time are Dunamai, the blue Terran. And Wolfpack, the light gray or mauve Terran? I don't know what that color is. I think it's technically called light gray, but it looks kind of a... got a purpley lavender hue to it. Our opponents are Contrarian, the teal Terran, Spartan, the green Terran, and Mike, the yellow Terran. The map is Extinction, which is actually a 4v4 map, so we'll have some extra expansions to kind of deal with at our uh, leisure. Check the production tab. Oh, supply depots and SCVs all around. Very exciting there. So it probably could be a little while before we see any variation of that. So we'll just kind of take care of that right away. And it looks like I'm once again reverting to my usual stance of just throwing down a massive inf infantry. Which, I don't know if I necessarily have the biggest opener to my infantry. But once I get my production rolling, I can get a pretty scary bio ball going. Good upgrades, good stim, get some... Medivacs in the background. Looks like Dunamai is going to go mech. I'm warning for drops because in the last game you saw Contrarian doing a little bit of drop play, although I did miss one of them. And I would fully expect him to try such a thing again. Because, yay, why not? And it looks like we're starting some wall. The interesting thing about this map is that every single one of these bases has got a ramp to get into it. I mean, a lot of times you think, oh, I'll just, you know, cover up that ramp, cover up that ramp will be fine, but no, you got this ramp back here, and you got this ramp back here, so everybody's got a ramp they got to worry about, and I actually kind of screwed up, for some reason I thought this was my ramp, so I threw my first supply depot down there, but durr, that's the middle of our base, doofus, so I finally corrected that and started throwing down some barracks here, I don't think this is a tight wall in, I don't know if I was going for tight wall in, because it's not not going to be a huge uh, focus for them to take this ramp, but they might, and my building just might slow them down enough to, you know, completely obliterate them at my front door. Throwing down the second barracks, see if we can see any variations going now. I don't even know if I want to look at the production tab, because we're all Terran, so I'm just looking at all sorts of barracks, marine, bunker, refinery, supply depot, it doesn't really matter whose is whose. So I'll just get rid of that for now. And a nice supply depot while going here at this ramp, but surprise, surprise, this ramp leads to nothing but a big chasm. So, <laughs> kind of a wasted, wasted wall here, but you know, guess what? I kind of screwed up starting my wall too. And I wonder if he thought the same thing. Is he building this? He, yeah, he's not covering up his ramp, so he might have fly the same thing as that this is the exposed ramp. And throwing down the uh, tech lab there. Doesn't look like we've got the savviest wall-ins in this game, but both sides are being equally as atrocious, so we'll just kind of let that one go for now. And throwing down an engineering bay for Contrarian. What does Wolf pack up to? He's got a pretty good... He's got his ramp taken care of, so he knows what he's doing. He's like, my ramp is going to be well taken care of. And what is he getting here? Getting a reactor there. Ooh, got a Reaper. And throwing down a factory. I should be. Am I get my third barracks yet? I'm not getting a third barracks just yet, which is probably what I'll go. I've been doing a lot of three racks play. Throwing down a couple of supply depots because it looks like I was supply blocked. So that was absolutely brilliant of me. I think Terran are the hardest ones to deal with when you get supply boxed. You gotta throw down supply depots. You can't just drop a pylon and quickly pump out an overlord. You gotta, you know, dedicate your SCVs to the supply depots and then make sure you send them back when when they're done. So it looks like I'm getting ready for an expansion. Probably will take this one. Or will I? Well, there's a lot of expansions around. It looks like Wolfpack's going to take the little safe one nestled here in the center of the base. Contrarian's going to take the four spot in his uh, group's um, main base structure. Looks like Spartan's going to take the safe base in the center of their cluster, but hasn't quite put it down yet. He does. Oh, he has just got the uh, money for it, so he's going to drop down that expansion. And we don't have any expansions for Dunamai yet. Doesn't look like Mike has got an expansion going yet. And my expansion is done. Now I'm getting down my third barracks, and I'm going to throw down my first add-on. 
And actually, I was like, I built it here because I'm like, I'll just take this expansion because it's mighted. And then I changed my mind. And I actually said, you know what? I think I'll take this nice little island here. It's way, it's, I mean, it's even better than this little cluster one because it's way in the back. And you kind of got to fly around all our bases to get to us. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll lift my building off and take it to the island. And we check the income tab right now, see what we got going on here. It looks like Mike's got the best economy going right now with 25 workers, with Spartan at 24, and looks like, oh, I'm leading my group at 22. I'm usually behind in workers, which is stupid because I know workers are important. Oh, and it looks like, yes, we have a fusion core going on here. I did scan his base, and I saw the tech lab, the uh, tech lab starport, so I'm thinking, oh, is he going for Banshee play? But then I just saw he was building the fusion core, so I know there's battle cruisers coming. And do we have any air to support this? Or are I supposed to defend against it? No, it's just command center. I don't see us getting anything that's going to combat for it, or combat it right now. I'm just throwing I'm throwing down a factory. I gotta get a factory before I can even get a starport. And throwing down three more barracks, because I'm on two base now, and I know I'm gonna need it. If I can get a lot of Marines out that will help against Banshee, Battle Cruiser, or whatever he might throw out of there. So I need to get some barracks down. I probably should, I need to be producing out of my, the ones that I've got. What am I doing? And, oh, I don't know how those guys got mis messed up. Still got my rally points, so I don't know what happened there. Throwing down all my mules here because I can't transfer SCVs over without getting a dropship. And I don't have a starport yet. So getting as many of mules as I can over here to mine that out securely. And we got a tank here for doing mine. I'm not sure what his tank's doing there, but that's okay. There we know, I got my marine production going up again, and it looks like Contrarian is going to start blocking off this ramp. It looks like we got level 1 attack for Spartan almost completed. Contrarian does not have any... Do I... I, I have I have my plus 1 attack done, and am I going... I'm not going for anything. Yeah, I am getting my starport out. Dropping a reactor so I can quickly transfer it to my starport, so I can start pumping out medevacs or vikings. Well, it looks like vikings is going to be the unit of choice. And if we look, and yet we do have battlecruisers coming out, but it looks like he's just got one starport, which if he's going battlecruisers off one starport, there goes the second starport, because battlecruisers take forever to build. 90 seconds to build, so one starport uh, battlecruisers is not going to get you a lot of battlecruisers. And it looks like the sensor towers have started going down, covering the center of the map. So it looks like we'll see anything coming in through this circle. Our opponents will see anything coming in through this circle. And it looks like Mike's getting a sensor tower now, and Dunamai's getting another sensor tower. So we're going to use the power of the Terrans to basically get eyes all over the freaking map. And it looks like Contrarian's going to take this forward watch tower, watching this chasm area. Although we do have vision on that. Oh, it looks like is going to cover his flank, so he's going to be completely secure in his side of the map. <laughs> it looks like we got Spartans going to cover, finish up this one, so this flank is covered. And, oh, looks like we got a nuke for Wolfpack going for a little ghost play. Where's he got that? Where's that ghost academy? Oh, double ghost academy. So he's getting double nukes, so this could get a little exciting. And it looks like Contrarian is going for the, the Amato cannon upgrade. I'm finally getting my level 1 armor for my infantry. And let's see, we're getting stim here and high sec auto tracking for Mike. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think you really need that. You're not going to get a, have to worry a lot about airplay where that's going to be a big benefit to you. I don't know. And it looks like Mike's going to be ta finally taking his expansion. So it looks like everyone's on two. Oh, no, it looks like Dunamai's on three base now. And getting down another factory. We checked the army sizes, and it looks like I have the biggest army, but when you're pumping marines, it doesn't take that long to get a big, huge army out. And Mike does not have much of an army at all. I'll check the units. What does he got here? Four marauders, four marines, two vikings. So he does not have much of an army right now. And it looks like I finally dro dropped a central tower of my own, so this flank is covered. So every approach vector to our base is covered by anything except for cloak, which, of course, sensor towers cannot see cloak. They are not detectors. This is does not say detector on it, so ghosts or banshees could still sneak through our defenses. And I am now pumping out double vikings, and we're getting a ping over here. Oh, I am pinging. The battle cruiser is now out on the map. We check the income tab really quick right now. It looks like Wolfpack is in the lead with 44 harvesters. 
Although Contrarian making the most of his and getting a ton of resources. He must have a lot of mules out right now. I don't see any mules there. Oh, and he is taking another base. He's going to take this base here in the center of the map. We have not taken our center map base yet, but it is probably very hard to defend if this becomes an air battle, which they're trying to make it into. If we check the units that we got, they have two battle cruisers, 12 Vikings, and why do I not? Oh, and five more Vikings for. So they got quite an air force building here. So I guess if we did attack them by air, it would completely fail miserably because there's no air force we could take that could take on that many Vikings. It would just get destroyed. Right now, it doesn't look like anything is going... Oh, what do we got going here? We got... Cloak... Mike is... Or, Wolfpack is getting a cloak for his ghosts, I'm assuming. And it looks like Mike's going to get some cloak for some Banshee production. And now it looks like Spartan's going to take their island expansion. So he will be on three base. Mike is on two base. Contrarian is on three base. Dunamai is on three base. I have now just sta started taking my third, and uh, Wolfpack is on two. Oh, it looks like we're going to get a 250mm strike cannons for the Thor to complement his Thor forest. And I need to get rid of that because it's kind of in the way. Oh, no, we got a little movement here. Oh, just a drone, tr or just an SCV transfer. There are no drones in this match because there are no Zerg. So just kind of uh, macroing up. Looks like. Although well, there's kind of an exposed flank here. Do they have any sensor towers coming down here? Because this flank is completely exposed. We could run up here and they would never see it coming. Because our base is sealed off. And this whole quadrant of the map is sealed off. So there's not going to be any unit movement in those areas without us knowing about it. And whoa, look at all these Vikings moving out. A couple of battle cruisers. No upgrades for any of them yet. No, we do have level 1 attack for Spartans Vikings. And oh, my, I think the sensor tower, did they get within the sensor tower's range? I don't know. I think they just got in the sensor tower range, and so I threw down a, I think that was me, that threw down a scan and see them there. And what is this SCV producing? Oh, it looks like he's going to get his own sensor tower up there, so that will cover the center of the map. We can get a compliment sensor tower of our own. So I think they saw they got scanned, and so they are going to pull back. So nothing, no engagements just as of yet. Everyone's kind of hunkered back. Not exactly turtling. This isn't exactly what I would call a turtle. No upgrades for those uh, Thors just yet. Because a few tanks over here. This tank's not really hitting. Oh, we got a nuclear missile here right at the front door. He's got two ghosts there. And actually I heard this new golf. I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I was look looking for red dots because I did not know. But apparently I did not get the uh, little audio warning. That nuke is going to land, and not only is it going to take out the bunker, it's going to take out the ghost that launched it. So we got a little bit close there. The Marines are going to survive, so basically all he took out was a bunker. Oh, he's going to try to get off another nuke, but there's a raven there, so that is not going to pan out. He probably needed to throw down a double nuke. It would have completely obliterated his front door and probably taken care of the Marines that were actually in the bunker. So that was that was complete waste of nukes. And we got quite an air force moving here. Just no upgrades there for Mike. Ah, we got 1 1 on the battle cruisers. But they are going to get. Are they in range of the sensor tower yet? They are in range of our Upgrade sensor tower. Complete. So we do see them massing again. What are we getting here? Going to get an orbital command. Probably a good idea. Don't really need a planetary fortress. The drop could be problematic, but I think they could respond in time. And this force, I think they're just trying to poke at us, figure out where we can hit us, but we can see everything. And this another scan. I think this was me the whole time scanning them every time I saw them massing at the center of the map. And that is the power of the sensor tower. You can see th things coming. It's you know, it's almost as good as creep. I like creep better though. Creep is much much better map hack than map hack than sensor towers. It looks like we are discussing the massive air force that's coming. Check the units. What do we have to combat this? We got nothing for Wolfpack to combat this. We got nothing for Dunamite. I do have, but I do have eight Vikings. Do I have any upgrades on my Vikings? Where are my Vikings? That is my Marine Force. I do have plus one attack on my Vikings. I think I got that specifically because I knew I was going to have to contend with this kind of force. But this is a lot of Vikings too. That is a lot of Vikings. That is a 24 Vikings, I think, if I grabbed them all. Wait, nope, there's more. Almost 30 Vikings there against my 8 would not do very well, but I moved my Marines forward here. I figured if they're... 
I need to get my Marines here quickly in case they attack. And if they try to flank us, we do have our sensor tower grid. And oh, Dunamai's going to sneak a high yield here up in the corner. Pretty ballsy. Especially with all these sensor towers, it's quite possible that all attacks could be coming from the flanks. But no, we're going to come here for the frontal attack. And they're going to take out this sensor tower because they don't like being spotted anymore. And here come Thor is here. But the thing is, the Thors are not the best against battlecruisers because... But it looks like we're going to get some Yamatos on those Thors. And I thought we were going to get some Yamatos. I heard some Yamatos go off. I don't know what they shot at. We are going to drive this force away. I got a ton of Marines here, which will definitely take care of battlecruisers in these kind of numbers. And it looks like they are going to escape. Look like at the saying, Thors are not the best against battle cruisers because they do best they do their best damage against light. Although they are gonna kinda send some shots though battle cruisers way and throw them into combat. I don't think they got anybody there. And oh I lost the medevac to that missile turret. I gotta be careful on the battle cruisers. These missiles I think are drawing the battle cruisers in, or maybe he keeps trying to pull his battle cruisers there to see if they can do any damage, but it's not gonna do any good. Because the Thors are gonna get a lot of hits on them before they get in range, and then my Marines will help clean that up. And Dunamai wants to know if we should push. I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's a pretty scary Air Force. We want to put some pressure on there. And there's still a lot of Vikings here. Looks like I'm like, oh, let's go this way. Oh, we're freaking in direction of attack because I saw that this ramp was pretty much closed off. We're not going to get any momentum here, and I didn't want to have to funnel everything back here. So I'm like, your ramp's pretty wide open. Why don't we use that as our exit? And Wolfpack's got some more nukes. I think still just two. Unless he sn snuck a Ghost Academy somewhere else. And this massive Air Force. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Looks like they're going to try to poke in for another attack. Or do they see our movement? Can they see us moving? They cannot see us moving yet because they are not. we are not within their sensor tower range. I'm not sure where they're going. I'm pinging them again. I'm scanning and pinging them. Every time I see them massing, I'm going to throw down a scan. Let me check the income tab. Okay, I don't have a lot of income. But I think I got enough to support my army. In fact, if I probably check my army. Yeah, I got a lot of extra money. And we're going to hit their front door right now, which is completely undefended relative to this many Thors. A few Marines are in a bunker. and not going to do anything against this many Thors. I'm not even sure if my units are shooting. But here comes the massive Air Force. Banshees are cloaked. Are we going to see this? We do not have a Raven in this army, so the Banshees will probably do a lot of damage. And here come the Yamatos down on the Thors. That is an awful lot of Yamatos, although the Thors don't do all that much damage to the Battlecruisers, so I'm not sure if it's the best use of the Yamato. But, you know, I guess if you take out the Thors, they will do a lot of damage to the base if they get in there, so perhaps it is a good use of the Yamato. And it looks like my Marine Force is just getting burned away because the Battlecruisers do an awful lot of DPS to do those Marines. Now they don't do any bonus uh, any bonus damage to the Marines, but they shoot so quickly. So it looks like they are going to clean this up. I'm not sure if we thin them out enough. Oh, is this battle cruiser going to go down? Nobody's shooting at this battle cruiser. He's just right. Oh, is that Thor going to get a? Gonna get, oh no! Focus that battle cruiser. He's almost dead. Oh no! But they didn't clean that up. So if we, oh, what was that? Oh. And they, if I brought these Vikings in here before, I probably would have done a lot better, but I, I stupid, stupidly brought them in too, way too late. But it would have been a great help if I brought them in earlier. But I did actually get some snipes off on those battle cruisers. We checked the units lost. Looks like I've lost a lot, which I just had pretty much Marine Marauder, so I'm not sure why I've taken... Oh, well, it looks like Contrarian's lost a lot, too. And Dunamai. So I guess all three of us that were the main focus of that battle took equal, kind of equal losses there. It looks like we are going to continue to remass... Dunamai's going to bring some tanks with him this time. Wolfpack's going to bring in his massive arm. Looks, he's got a massive infantry. There's ma his in ah, excuse me, his infantry is 2-1. I have actually plus 2 attack on my Vikings. My Marines are 2-2. Two, two. So we are remassing. It looks like this time I actually am going to bring the Vikings with us because I know they've got a huge air force. And every battle cruiser we can snipe is huge because, like I said before, they take forever to build. And now he's on three starport, although he's not producing any battle cruisers right now. Well, he barely has. He could make two of them, but that's all he's got the gas for. It looks like this force is going to move out. And oh, these Vikings are on the ground, which means the Thors are going to chew them to pieces. Some more Yamatos going down on those battle or on those Thors. 
Looks like Mike's got some battle cruisers of his own right now. And here come my Vikings, which are going to have fun time cleaning out these battle cruisers. And look at how quickly they go down to my. How many Vikings do I got? Nine Vikings. And just look at them snipe those battle cruisers. Our ground force took a huge hit, but. Oh, and that poor Viking. Or that poor battle cruiser did not pick the right time to come in here. Oh, now I'm going to lose my medevacs again to these Vikings. I gotta get my own Vikings in there. It looks like my Marines are going to help clean it up, though. But it looks like I did lose. Oh, no, I did save two of my medevacs. One of them is pretty badly damaged. And the siege tanks are now in here. And here comes some more battle cruisers from the Trarian. We'll quickly clean up those tanks. But here come my Vikings. And down go more some Yomatos. But they really got to worry about these Vikings because those are going to do the lion's share of damage to the battle cruisers right now. And it looks like we're going to clean this up. Does he have any more Yamatos for the uh, Thors? Well, the Thors are pretty. Well, those Thors are actually pretty healthy right now, but the rest of these battle cruisers are going to go down to my awesome Viking force. Oh, and I thought I heard another uh, Yamato that got shut off quickly because of my Vikings. And there goes the scan, and the Thors are excellent against. Oh, don't want to cluster up those. Oh, <laughs> look at all those Banshees that went down. You do not want to cluster up your Banshees when there are Thors around. Banshees are a light unit. Oh, and Contrarian's going to give the GG. He's out of the game. Like I said, Banshees are a light unit, so Thors will do splash damage and bonus damage to him. And Mike's going to give the GG, and he's out. And I'm going to throw down the scan to take out these last two Banshees. So it's just Spartan left. There goes his land, his, what, his land Vikings. When is Spartan going to give the GG? And these, uh, these uh, battle quizzers are just kind of autopiloting now because Contrarian is already gone. And I hear another nuclear missile going off. I don't know where it's at. Uh, looks like he's going to nuke this. And I think we can speed this up because it's just a matter of time. Oh, and down goes the nuke. And down goes another nuke. And it's just a matter of moments here before Spartan realizes that he is done. Yes, and so it looks like we won the game. I thought it was a pretty interesting game. Although I, I'm not sure I agree with their tech choice to go massive air because we just I scouted it and countered it pretty strongly, so I hope you enjoyed that masked here in insanity, and have a day.